Welcome back to Field of Fork. I'm Abby J, and we're here to feature the Ingalls Table, and the chef today is Haley Haynes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Haley is from Asheville, North Carolina. She's a law student, and Haley, tell us how you got involved with the Ingalls Table. So, recently I started an Instagram page called at Laurel and Obsessed, and I've been doing reviews of Laurel Lynn products and giving some recipes so, so that people can enjoy the products at home, too. So, you're kind of a home chef, and you grew up cooking with your grandmother. You were telling me your grandmother, and that means a lot to me because I cooked with my grandmother and you know to spend the time in those in the kitchen uh when I was younger I'll never forget that and those are the memories we have right right yep she taught me all the little tips and tricks I needed to know in the kitchen and I still use them every day and it's something that still keeps us close we uh, text recipes back and forth it's a lot of fun I wanted to also showcase the Ingalls Table magazine. You're featured in this magazine. What did you, uh, what recipe did you, did you share in this magazine? So I actually have two in this magazine. I have my peanut butter pie, which is really easy. It's a no bake recipe. And I also have some dog treats that are easy to make for your dog at home. Well, I saw the pie and that is, oh, that looks and sounds so delicious. I'm going to have to try that. But also it's Halloween, it's fall, and Michael McMurtry has some really good fall uh, recipes in here. Uh, he's on the front cover here with all the different treats. And, you know, if you have kids, this is a great thing for kids because uh with covid and there's time you know on your hands what better way than to get your kids in the kitchen so make sure you go to your local ingles market in the deli and pick up your free copy and uh, i know i've had so much fun just creating recipes and and that's what we're doing today uh, is creating a recipe so what are we making today haley so today, in the spirit of fall, we're going to make some apple pork chops. So we're going to cook the pork chops in the pan and season it with some apples and onions to get a nice fall flavor. So let's get started. So to show us the first step, uh, I think I'm going to help you here. Here's the pork chops, and you can get these in your meat case at Ingles. Right. Yes, I picked these up at Ingles, and you can get, you know, large bone-in pork chops or, you know, thin-cut pork chops. And you just want to season each side with um, salt and pepper to taste. So, I'm gonna so she's going to do that. And, you know, with, with it being colder weather, you want, you, you want to eat uh, really good and healthy. And the way we're doing this is uh, we're, we're going to, you know, I love cast iron cooking. Right. It's one of my favorite things to do in the fall. And so this only takes like three minutes on both sides. And it's salt, pepper. And, um, and it's really great because this is all basically in one pot, so you don't have to get out a bunch of dishes to make this. And easy cleanup, yeah, right? Very yeah. easy, which I'm all about in the kitchen. So, And um, yep, you'll just add about a tablespoon of olive oil here and then move yep. Go ahead. your pork chops in there and cook for about three to five minutes. So, so we're going to get this started. Uh, go ahead. And, yeah, go ahead and get th that off. I already had it open. It's okay. All right. A little. So then we'll, uh, what do we do with the onions? So those will come in after we sear. Um, so we're going to sear first. Okay, so we'll be right back. We're going to go ahead and get these seared, and we'll be right back. From all of us at Ingalls, we just want to say thanks so much for your support because when you support us you're supporting hundreds of local farms and businesses in the states we call home you see that's where we source as much of our food as possible from our local dairies to grass-fed beef to organic produce to bakeries just around the corner we really are one team and one community Ingalls we're with you every step of the way Welcome back to Field of Fork, and my kitchen smells amazing, and these pork chops look great. So let's put the final finishing touches, Haley. Yes, so I just um, took those off 
the cast iron skillet to saute my onions and gala apples. You can use whatever kind of apple you like. And now I've made a mixture of about three-fourths cup of chicken stock and then some Dijon mustard to add a little more flavor. We're going to pour that in here. Wow, that looks yeah. so good. And it smells so much yeah. like fall. Yes, it does, my spatula. And you're going to let this, you can let it kind of cook off a little because we still got some heat in the pan. And you can even um, keep this on the uh, stove at a low temperature. And now we're going to add the pork chops back in. Yeah, I, I can help you do this. Yes. Look at this. Wow, and Ingles, go by Ingles yeah. and get these pork chops. They are really, really amazing. And what a yep. meal. This is so nice. And just add a few apples. and. Yep, you kind of nestle them right in there. And you can even pop this back on the stove for a few more minutes to you know, let it all marinate together and get nice and flavorful. And what's so good is that you can pair a dish like this with other things that are, are really healthy and good for you, and that's the asparagus. Yes, so I picked out some asparagus for a side here. And you can even... Um, cook this in the cast iron skillet or pop it in the oven. I just season it with a little salt and pepper. And I like to add a little lemon juice to my asparagus after it's done cooking just to add some more flavor. It makes it more fresh. Yes, it definitely does. Another good side would be some, you know, wedge potatoes, quarter potatoes. Um, you can really pair anything with this meal, which is what makes it really nice and easy. Well, it looks amazing. It looks delicious. And don't forget to go by and pick up your free Ingles Table Magazine at your local Ingles Markets for more tricks, tips, and recipes. You can find all your Laura Lynn products there as well and anything you need for your kitchen. Thank you so much for having me here today. It's been great to be in your beautiful kitchen. Thank you, Haley, and thank you, and we'll see you next time. Have a happy fall. Get outside, and remember, thank a farmer.